guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by please do hit that like and subscribe button today i'll be making you jamaica's national fish some ackee and salt fish please stay tuned i hope you enjoy so we're gonna start off by prepping the salt fish so what i'm going to do is to wash this off with some fresh water and then put it in a bowl with some water to soak so to start off, I'm going to prep my seasoning. What I have here is some scallion, some thyme, onions, tomato, sweet pepper, and some scotch bonnet pepper as well as some garlic. So what I'm doing here is just to um, get the leaves off of the thyme stick and to set them aside. I'm going to prep my green onions, which also no is also known in Jamaica as scallion, uh, my sweet pepper, um, so your personal preference as to how you wish to dice your seasoning, I personally like my onions to be a little long as well as my sweet peppers because I want to be able to eat them, like to physically juke them with the fork and eat them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Um, some persons don't like to see the seasoning in their food and really would not, would prefer to dice them as small as possible. So but basically, it's however you prefer your seasoning. So if you would like for them to be really small, you go ahead and cut them to your personal preference. Um, here I'm going to dice these garlic as small as possible. Because I really don't mind having them big. But um, for this occasion, I just wanted them a little smaller. So I'm just dicing them as small as I can. Um, so here you have it. I've diced up my onions, tomato, sweet pepper, green onions. Um pepper my um thyme leaves are the only thing that should be in the pot <laughs> so here i'm going to prep my ackee so i washed it off and now i'm draining the water off and i'm going to wash it one more time and i'm just checking to see if there's any ackee that i may have missed cleaning out yes so there was that one um so i cleared that up and i'm just running some water on it before i put it back into the pot and full of water the water that will be boiling it um to this pot i'll be adding the salt fish because i let them boil together that way i don't it, it makes no sense to boil them separately so i put them together in the pot and i boil them so what this does it eliminates me having to add salt to the pot of ackee while it, for it to boil the salt in the salt fish will ensure that the ackee is boiled in salt um, here I'm adding some pimentos because I just absolutely love the flavor. I really think it's life-changing to add the pimentos to your ackee and let it boil. I really think it is. Um, so here I am adding some water back to the pot because I'm going to scald the saltfish once more. Naturally, the process is for me to boil the, um, soak the saltfish in water overnight and then boil it in the morning. Sometimes I'll boil it two times. I'll scald it two times. So here, because it was only soaking for maybe about 30 minutes, I boiled it once and then boiled it a second time. So I added the pot to the stove with some oil, um, had the oil eat up, and now I'm adding my seasoning to it. So I'm going to saute my seasoning um, in the pot for maybe about two minutes until they're at least um, slightly soft um, before I start adding the rest of the ingredients um, into the pot. So now I'm just stirring it around because you don't want the seasoning to caramelize or to burn. So ensure that this motion is continuous and also that you are using medium heat, medium to low heat um, for this process. So here I'm going to add the seasoning. I'm adding some all-purpose. I'm going to also you're going to also see me add some garlic powder and some black pepper as well as some fish seasoning to the pot. Why fish seasoning? Salt fish. <laughs> um, so I add those four seasoning to the um, powdered seasoning to the pot, and it really enhances the flavor of the overall dish. So to add that extra flavor, go ahead with these powdered seasoning these are optional guys so if you don't wish to add any to it, you don't have to when i tell you this dish was busting it was busting it was so delicious the spices in it it was wonderful i really 
enjoyed this a whole lot mm -hmm. and i enjoyed making it and i hope you guys enjoy watching this video remember guys hit that like subscribe share ensure that you try this recipe provide me with your feedback in the comment section um so moving on here you're gonna see me adding the saltfish so what i the process for the saltfish was i cleaned the skin off deboned it made it into small pieces and um now i'm adding it to the powdered season pot with this, the onions pepper skin and stuff um this process is important so saute your saltfish with this um mixture exactly how we've done it so far i want for you guys to do it the steps that i've taken so you saute your um seasoning you add your powdered season you add the salt fish and you saute it a bit so you're gonna see me adding some water to this because i want the salt fish to simmer the season a little before i add in the ackee so i'm going to add some water to prevent it from sticking as i'm going to literally have it steam for about 30 seconds to a minute before i add in the ackee but are you guys seeing so far how colorful this is I think this is one of the reasons why they made this um, a national dish here in Jamaica because a look at the colors and it hasn't eat and we haven't even added in the akias yet imagine like I love the various colors in this dish from the seasoning that we would add to it and for me this is literally one of my favorite meals my personal favorite side to put with this is white rice um but jamaicans most jamaicans tend to have it with ground provision such as yam banana irish sweet potatoes um dashini it it varies for me my personal favorite is white rice however i still do have it with the other things some kamil dumpling you know and some boiled food it i enjoy both, both foods. um so here I'm going to allow the saltfish to simmer like I told you before after adding the water. Um, this is really to get the seasoning to really, the flavor is of all, every, every season I've added to it. So here I'm adding the ackee and just look how the color just went from a 10 to a 20. Like look at this. It's so pretty. It's so vibrant. like the colors are just so vibrant. It's as vibrant as our culture. I just I love everything about this dish, and I really do hope you enjoy it for similar reasons, or if you have your own reasons, that's fine. So the process with this, though, once you put in the aki, you try to fold it. Don't don't mix it like your mat. Um, don't mix it. Fold it. Because if you mix it, it's going to mash out the ackee. Remember, the ackee has been boiled. Sometimes you'll have butter ackee that's that's softer than other ackees. So you mixing it will cause it to mash out more. So to prevent that, just fold it. When you add the ackee in and you're trying to incorporate it with everything, just fold it in. So here I am plating it. Presentation is so important, guys. You know, I buy two new plates for presentation. <laughs> Well, it was to help with the presentation because, but look at the difference. This, I, I went for a rectangle or a square um, long plate and I went for um, a slightly um, squared um, plate. I don't know what the design they call the other one that you're going to see me plating it with the rice. But anyways, I bought two new plates for to help me with presentation because I realized presentation is key. Um... I always know, but you know, I realize even more. So look how beautiful that is. My tell you, them sweet potato here was was so delicious. It was so weird. Like I've had sweet potato last week, and it wasn't this good. So much sweeter. Um, but here I'm adding it with the white rice. So this is basically a cup of rice. So it's two half cups of rice on the plate, and again presentation. So I added two small half cups of rice. Um and then plating it with the ackee so this is as good as it looks no joke look at that so beautiful so here's the finished product i really do hope you enjoy 
I was really trying to find the handles here. Like, come on. I was trying to find two plate of food angles. Like, I was trying. I, I, I give myself E for effort. I feel so proud of myself. I'm really trying to invest in this. I'm doing something that I enjoy, which is cooking. Um, so I am just trying to share this joy with the world. And I hope you enjoy my recipes. I hope you continue to watch. This dish was so spicy. It was so perfect because I wanted the amount of peppers that were in it. So I really, really, really hope you enjoy. Remember to personalize it however you want or to try it exactly as I did. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. I cannot say it enough. And I look forward to seeing you guys at my next video.